By now you guys probably already know that four days a week I work here at Ceramic Pro Sarasota. And basically my whole entire job is just to create content for this company, to create uh, videos that then induce uh, or that then promote the business and get more sales and all of that good stuff. So today I thought, uh, since I'm here four days a week now, um, and we talked about that transition in the last video, I'll link it above, but I'm here four days a week. So I figured, um, you never know. It's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get here. Sometimes there's some really awesome cars and sometimes there's not. I have a feeling that today there is. So I just like to show you guys a little bit of like what I do uh, in the course of a day. Um, it's pretty exciting. I, 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 I think you guys know too that like transitioning from the car dealership um, to this has been pretty freaking awesome. And uh, you're, about, you're about to see why. So come with me today. Uh, the majority of my day is generally spent inside in an office, but we're gonna get out in the shop a little bit and uh, show you guys all the cars, all the goods, all the goods. It's a, it's a beautiful morning. It is a beautiful morning here in Southwest Florida and I'm stoked, I'm excited, let's get it. There's an old saying and it goes, uh, if you like the way things are going, get ready because it's gonna change. And if you don't like the way things are going, get ready because it's gonna change. And that uh, that is definitely, that definitely applies to Florida weather because one minute it'll be sunny and the next minute it'll be pouring down rain, which that changed dramatically very quickly. It is now raining. First things first, today is Tuesday. And basically on Tuesdays, my whole objective of the day is to get done an email, a newsletter. We do a weekly newsletter um, that's sent out to all of our customers. So I'm gonna sit here and design this email real quick, this newsletter real quick. It's called What's in the Shop Wednesday. Uh, so it'll go up tomorrow. But I'm gonna work on it today. I'm gonna get that done. And then you only saw like that little piece was only just a short portion of our shop. Then we'll go back down and we'll see what's down there as far as shooting the video goes. Uh, but first I'm gonna knock out this newsletter, then we'll get to the video. I just finished the uh, email, the what's in the shop Wednesday email. So I'll show that to you next. And then after that, to be time to go shoot some videos. Um, so check out check out what I just worked on. I think it looks pretty freaking good. It is to my understanding that uh, they're getting ready to bring out a Dodge Viper for uh, like quality control check that they just finished. So what we're gonna do is is we're gonna shoot our Sunday video right now, and uh, I got the photographer Jared here. He's gonna help me. Uh, make a video out of it basically. So instead of me showing you behind the scenes, let me just drop uh, the final product of this video in next. And um, yeah, day's shaping up. It's just around lunchtime and uh, we get this Dodge Viper. It's kind of a, kind of a bomb, bomb freaking vehicle. So check out this video that we're getting ready to make right now. What's up, Jared? What are we getting ready to do today, Mr. Jared? So we just finished up this protection package on this Viper. We're gonna take a few shots of it. That's gonna be Sunday chills. Check it out. Mr. Jared, Mr. Jared, oh, I'm super zoomed in. Oh, wow. uh, let me ask you a question. What are you getting ready to do? Like, what are we getting ready to do right now? So we are going to take some very amazing photos of this Viper that we've been working on. It's got a full protected, full protection package on it. And 
yeah, that's what we're doing for Sunday chill. Dude, I'm so super zoomed in on your face, so hopefully that translates. But basically, yeah, we're trying to get a shot that we don't generally get because there's only so many places we shoot like around the shop. Uh, so we're just gonna try to get this thing lined up right here in the middle and see what that looks like, right? Game on. All right, let's do it. Tanner, he's the gentleman that drove it over for us because you know we had to we had to make sure that we got the pictures and the video of it. It's my first day driving manual. So tell tell them what you just told me about driving this car over here. Uh, it's it's I mean it's a dope car for sure. It's sweet. Uh, it's a little funny because like Vipers, at least this generation of Viper, uh, other Vipers I've driven aren't aren't like this, but the pedals are really far to the left when you're in the driver's seat. So you want to go hit the gas with your right foot and you're actually hitting the bottom of the floor. Um, the pedals are like, the gas pedal is almost right in center with your body. It's really, uh, but it's a driver's car. I mean, it's a cockpit in there. It's a fighter jet on the inside. Really, really awesome car, especially that big wing on the back. That, uh, that's the biggest carbon fiber wing I've ever seen. That thing's probably a foot and a half in, in depth. Uh, but yeah, all in all, Absolutely amazing car. Uh, the pedals are just in an odd position. Have to get used to driving it for a little bit, but I'm sure I could get used to it. <laughs> I'm sure I could get used to it. What do you think? Uh, what do you think of the way that it came out as far as like everything that we did to it? Yeah, the um, the correction really, really helped this car. So about two. Two or three weeks ago, uh, there was a Cars and Coffee uh, event that I had gone to, and I saw, uh, I happened to run into the owner of this car, and he had just picked it up, and it was first thing in the morning, 8 a.m., and the sun hitting this car, there were a lot, a lot of swirl marks and scratches on this. Um, the previous owner, you know, definitely put a lot of that into it, uh, probably just trying to maintain it but proper wash techniques maybe weren't used and this thing was heavily swirled and scratched it looks like a mirror right now um, really really flawless turnout Sean did the correction and the coating on it uh, and he has gone top to bottom on this thing absolutely perfected the paint absolutely yeah I think it looks good we again like we don't normally come here especially for photos but um, I feel like we could take this car anywhere and it would show good just because it's just one of those one of those cars Yeah, it's, it's one of those cars that it's gonna break necks anywhere it goes You could you could park it in a back alley or you could park it at the front of UTC mall Everyone's gonna be looking at this car Before we go back to the shop can you take this and move this against this wall right here? And let us get one more, one more, one more photo. I don't even know how it's gonna look, but that works. Look at Tanner. It looks like he's in a cockpit. It looks like he's in a it's cockpit of a fighter jet in here. <laughs> and so we're gonna just line them up. We'll just line them up straight, dead center on this wall, and uh, we're kind of elevated. There's kind of like a little hill here, so we kind of be above it. Um, we just need to get him. I don't know where he's going. Come back. Yeah, bring him back. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. All right, yeah, let's see if we can get him center on these sticks. A little bit more, a little, little bit, a little bit more. See, a little bit's a lot in a Viper, I guess. All right, that should be good. You wanna take that shot real quick? notice about this car that I don't I, I've never noticed before about fifth generation Vipers you've got your oh shit handle right here so instead of up on the roof you're just grabbing on for dear life when you're riding in the passenger seat of this thing. there you go bro <laughs> all right I'll see you guys back at the see top. ya all right bro that's a wrap that was quick yeah, that was yeah. a fast one yeah oh yeah that was fun so um so what we're gonna do is is now we're gonna go back in. You're gonna edit the uh, photos of this, oh, yeah. and um, I'm gonna edit the video of this, which is no small feat, but definitely should be easier than your photos. And what we're gonna do is, is at the end of this, we're gonna drop your photos for everybody to see. What was your best shot? What do you think your best shot was? I believe the one with the. 
They can't hear you. There's a lot of wind. You gotta talk louder. I think uh, that one right there. They had that in the background. I'll, I'll actually just throw it on the screen right now. And lastly, I just recorded that reel off my phone. The Instagram reels, y'all, like don't sleep on Instagram reels. We've been, we've been killing it with some Instagram reels. So uh, here's that reel. That is it for today's video so much. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really, really, really appreciate it. You just saw an insight, like you just saw my life, like one day, right? That's one day's work. We got three more days left to go. And then uh, we'll be back to make day Monday. So again, really, really appreciate it. If you could do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, maybe even hit that like button. We'd greatly appreciate it. Until next time, guys. See you guys later. Deuces!